Hello everyone and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. We continue on No Man's Land and uh, I think it's time to start uh, harvesting the canola and we'll see how much we get off this field. Probably not too much, usually canola is not that a big... Uh, big harvest. But we'll see. Uh, maybe we need to take some measures make sure that we can do something with it like uh, buying a how was that thing called an oil oil plant or something like that oh that's the cereal factory the oil mill oh we have the money for an oil mill uh, but can we place it uh, let's where are we here yeah, we could place it somewhere down here and simply uh, overlap with other objects okay that seems to be too close not here yeah this one here is uh, pretty big it seems this one goes all the way down here yeah what we could try to do maybe is something like this and then put it somewhere around here that's an option we could also place it in this spot but it's a little bit uh nah i don't want to do that yeah probably this is going to be the spot where i want to place it overlaps with another object not sure what that object might be is it uh, there's somewhere laying because this it wants to do but this it doesn't want to do that's a little bit strange i wonder if it has something to do with our trailer and tractor over there let's turn you off Yeah, we could uh, cut this field off a little bit. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Otherwise, we have to buy a new field. And that's something I not really like to do. We could maybe place it somewhere down here if we really want it. But let's have a look how this looks. Do we have still that problem? Or... Yeah, overlapping with another object hmm that's a little bit strange okay and it, it does want to do this so that doesn't make any sense to me there seems to be something down here that's oh look at that there is a problem somehow overlaps with another object is no it's not uh this thing down there i guess well maybe it is look that's overlapping it says and this will do it there's something down there there's laying something i'm not sure what it is let's have a look uh, let's have a look maybe we can uh, get rid of it there's something over here i Oh, something was it this no i don't think so although could be yeah it seems to be looks like it's, it's this spot here hmm well maybe we should uh, plow it first and off and then afterwards we can do something with it not 100 percent sure it's a little bit strange what is this doesn't tell me anything uh, there is wheat that needs to be rolled but can we if we wanted to place it somewhere down here near the tent the tent is not on our property but maybe we do have enough room here let's have a quick look how much room do we have? We have 
Well, could be that it's not big enough. Oh, it's really big. Really big. Yeah, it's way bigger than I thought. No, that's not going to happen here. Thought maybe it would fit in, but no. This could be an option down here. But it's that, okay, it's that, that little spot down there. Look, this it will do. I go one forwards, it says overlapping. And it seems to be, yeah, just halfway. Just one quarter of it. Okay. So it must be that spot that we saw earlier. Not sure what it is. Out, uh, this is halfway, so we should be around here. Yeah, that's this spot here. That seems to be the trigger. I'm not sure. Maybe it's some straw that's still left. What? Hmm. You know what? Let's plow this and see what's happening. Maybe we can do something with it. You never know. I mean, it doesn't matter too much. And we have to plow here, so why not? If we plow that simply away... I think everything should be fine, right? Uh, let's go through here. Can we make it through here? Uh, probably not. Let's go all the way up and then turn around. There we go. So let's... Uh, we're not going to make fields. We're simply going to allow this just to make sure that that is the, the problem there we go now this should fix our problem then theoretically now let's see if that really is the crew pit <coughs> There we go. Turn you off. Let's see if we can now place you. Yeah, no problem. Look at that. So there was something in the way. Yeah, this is what we maybe could do is do something like this, for example. Is that straight? Yes, that is straight. Can I place it everywhere I want? Is that true? Okay. Well, that's even better. I don't need uh, I don't need the fields to put it in. Okay, that's that's interesting. You know what? Let's uh, let's place it down here then. Overlaps, overlaps. There we go. There we are. Placing it, we have it now. We don't need the field yet then. We can simply place it everywhere. That's good to know. That's really good to know. At least now we can... Uh, go on with the canola. Start the engine first. And... Yeah, you can go a little bit inside. There we go. That should do it. And then we can leave this field intact. That's a good thing. Okay. Even better. But I think it was some kind of a little bit of straw that was still laying on the, the ground there. Not sure why the it didn't want to put it in there, but... We got it uh, up and running now. No, I just wanted to say, don't tell me that the trees are already grown up, but no, they are not. Uh, that would be a little bit strange. There you go. Now we're gonna put uh, a worker on this... Uh, a little bit later on, I think. Although... 
Yeah, we need more then. We also need the Sargon, yeah. So we have a lot of uh, things to do. We need the cart a little bit. But the amount of uh, stuff that we are getting is way lower than with uh, the barley. You can already see that. I mean, and we're at the end there with the barley, we were over 50%. Well, that's not going to happen with uh, the canola. But we should be able to start uh, also plowing, uh, I think, once we have the worker on this. And then we shouldn't have any problems with, uh, with weeds this season. So basically, if you always plow, you never have, uh, never need uh, pesticides to, to get rid of the weeds. Would be an alternative. I mean, plowing isn't uh, very expensive. A little bit time consuming, that's sure, but... Yeah, we're probably going to do uh, maybe two headlands and then... Although I think one headland is enough, to be honest. Yeah, if we put it in that direction, the worker, it should be fine. That should be fine. There we go. Yeah, then we can uh, put it on the worker, then we can start to uh, do something else. And then we have to think what we want to put in uh, this field. And it won't, uh, we have already have 60,000 left, so that's good then. We could use a bakery also. Yeah, for the, for the flour. That we can make uh, bread. That's not a 50k, but we do have it, so. We're probably going to end up with a lot of money again. Well, the canola took a lot of uh, fertilizer out of the ground. Look, it's all orange now. We had a lot of fertilizer on this, as far as I can remember. You don't have access to the land. Yeah, I know that. Don't worry. You missed the spot and the worker ain't gonna fix that, so let's try that again. There we go. Now I'm gonna stop you and put you on a worker. There we go. Good. Now I'm gonna take the plow with me. Because we can simply, uh, we don't have to create a new field, we only have to plow this. It's not really a problem. And uh, oh yeah, the bakery. Yeah, let's uh, let's buy that thing. Uh, I don't want to have the standard bakery. I don't like it uh, that much, to be honest. That is it. Yeah, that's this one. I don't uh, feel like that's a, a nice thing. We could pick up this one. It's a little bit. Uh, or I think we have another one in here, if I'm not mistaken. Wood turner. Yeah, this bakery. Overlaps with another object. But what we could... We need to have some room around... Uh, around the sawmill. Otherwise we're going to get in trouble bringing in the logs. But we could... Uh, where are your... Okay, to the left and in front. Now the question is, what's what? The tipper is on the this side here, and the spawn point is then over there. Hmm. Not too sure about it, to be honest. Let's see, how are you? Oh, front and back. But we don't have to deliver anything. We only need the, the spawn point, basically. 
Yeah. We should be able to. So the drop point is there, which we don't need. What we could do is something like this and place it alongside here. Then we still have the option to go overlaps with another object. You need some room here. Okay. That's uh, that one. Let's bring this one a little bit up that the spawn point is nice. There we go. That should be fine. I think we are even able to uh, to landscape this. Not 100% sure, but I think we can paint uh, the area here. Yes, we can. We have to be careful for uh, that stuff over there. Yeah, the... This one is a little bit high up uh, somehow. Not sure why that is. And how and when, but... Let's do it like this. There we go. And a little bit down here. That should be fine. Oops, that's a little bit too much. Well, I guess that's it. Okay, fair enough. Nearly full. Okay, let's uh, drop the stuff and let's head over. Our first load of uh, canola. So, what we can do is set... Uh, the flower to uh, distribution now. It shouldn't be full that quickly, normally. Okay, you do go into another field. Uh, that's uh, not really good, but yes. On cruise control, now we have it on cruise control. There we go. We can empty it a little bit easier. 6,000. Yeah, this is probably going to be around, well, what would it be? 20,000, 25,000. Not much more, I think. No, we're still emptying. Now we don't emptying anymore. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's drop you here. And let's set the mill to distribution the flower distribution there we go uh, we can set the canola oil uh, active and we can make bread yeah cake we need a lot of other stuff but bread is not a problem so let's uh, activate it we probably don't need that much flour in here, so at some point we're gonna bring it back again. But uh, maybe we should uh, bring the, the canola to the factory, then it can start producing. That might be a better idea than waiting. Oh, it's gonna be 34 degrees today. Wow. That's hot. Let's go in here. And let's drop this. Now we won't get any... Oh yeah, sunflowers can also be in here. So that's something we have to take, uh, take care of the next season. We could make uh, a big canola field. Well, maybe we should make this a barley field and a new field make a canola field. Something like that. I think this is a little bit small. We could do with a little bit more canola. 
And like I said, canola isn't uh, a high yield crop. So gives a good amount of money, but the amount of uh, product that you get from an acre is lower than with barley. I mean, price-wise is probably the same, but I'm not sure how much uh, the oil plant needs. So we probably need a, a decent amount of canola. Are you already done? Okay, there we go, and let's uh, let's start uh, with plowing. Then the wheat's also gone. That's a good thing. Uh, this will take some time plowing to be honest. We don't need to plow the other field if we don't want to. Because that's already been done when we created it. Uh, a little bit more in that direction and a little bit back. There we go. Now we could simply... Uh, I think you are at 6 meters. If I'm correct, do you already been set? No. Detect with 6.2. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, that should do it. Now we don't have field creation on, so we stay nice within the borders. Uh, I probably should increase the speed. This one, there we go. Yeah. 18, yeah, that's better. 20, okay, even better. we can do is simply uh, go around here we do that much difference I mean cruise control yeah the combine is nice but you mustn't forget to crank up the speed again <laughs> after you're done with it but Otherwise you're going too fast. That might be a little bit... Yeah, okay, this is good enough. Let's uh, lift you up. It's a small part. I mean, it's it wouldn't be that bad if we turn this somehow into the farm at some point. Because it's nice and flat. Definitely uh, could do that. But for now I think we keep it as it is. We still have plenty of room to go into the other direction. But at some point we need to buy that uh, field where we placed the uh, the buildings on. The bakery and the oil uh, plant. This is going pretty quickly uh, to be honest. I mean there are wider uh, plows but some of them don't get the speed that this one gets. So yeah, the question is what's better? Uh, Now we do need uh, to use lime this time. I think we have a decent amount of money. We can borrow some money. We have uh, two fields, so not really a problem. And we, yeah, we make a lot of money. That's not, uh, not even the point anymore already. At the moment we still have 10,000. But it's going down. That's okay. And the question is... Yeah, I think we still need the combine for the next season. I'm not mistaken. We could have a quick look. I think we still need it in September. Let's have a quick uh, look here. No, this one isn't ready the next season. Then we're probably better off uh, leaving it as it is. Uh, you can continue, that's not a problem. Then we might want to get rid of the combine after this. Because it's probably going to be harvestable in October. 
I'm not mistaken. No. Price wise that shouldn't make any difference though, but if it will be November then we would be a little bit dumb if we would uh, keep it. So let's have a closer look. What was on that field? Um, soybeans. Okay, when do soybeans... And are they harvestable? October, yeah. So, September is a no-go. Doesn't matter too much then. If we keep the combine or if we get rid of it. We pay for a day. But the initial price is also double the day price so if we get rid of it now and get it back in October yeah we pay the same amount of it as we're keeping it so it's not really much of an issue to be honest the only point can be oh we uh, rented uh, the combine for another hour it seems yeah we are a little bit low on money all of a sudden yeah, the combine had 0.7 hours on it, so probably it now has uh, one hour on it. And I wouldn't be surprised if we get another hour on it, if we go for the sorghum. We have to be careful not to drive into the uh, sorghum field because then plowing will start commencing again. <laughs> That's not what the, 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 the spot in between is safe, but the, f the field itself not. So let's uh, be careful. And the advantage is if we have a direct drill, we don't need uh, to cultivate the field. We can simply. Uh, start sowing and I don't think there's anything yet that can be sown yeah the canola can be if we wanted to maybe we need another field for that so yeah maybe a bigger field going probably I wouldn't mind if we got let's say 25 would be nice but there is some some clutter here maybe 28 there seems to be something in here but uh, there's some wood here so that's good but we could work around this and then make this whole area for canola yeah that wouldn't be a, a bad thing then we can have barley in this one and this one we'll see what we do we're gonna probably buy some more fields soon because if we make uh, a, a ton each month, 100,000, then we're definitely gonna get some more fields. We already bought uh, a lot of stuff because we have a couple of factories now. So basically, we're getting more and more money. Combine is still operating, that's good. I think it, it's the last pass that it makes, if I see it correctly. Could be that there's still a little bit left. Not 100% sure, but we're going to have a look uh, shortly. Let's finish this uh, part here. Uh, maybe we should set this on a worker and take over the combine for a while. That's something we can do. Not a problem. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Let's uh, do this. There we go. Let's hire a worker. Yep, very good. There you go. And we're going to take over from you. There we are. Uh, we have 8,000 liters at the moment. Yep, that's good. We can probably bring it uh, 
to the mill with the combine. Yeah, the combine has exactly one hour on it now, so we paid uh, for that. It's nine o'clock in the morning. That's good. So this field is basically empty now. Uh, is there something in the cart? I don't think so. I hope everything fits. It's not much, uh, but we have 1000 liters left, basically. Yeah, we should be fine. I'm not sure if we already dumped something in there. I don't uh, think we did. So we roughly have about 20,000 liters of canola then. Somewhere in that area. Yeah, this is going to be 9,300 maybe. Or maybe 9,200. Yeah, probably closer to 200. There we go. This field is gone, uh, done. Not gone, but done. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we d look at that. 10,000 and another nice. So just under 20,000 liters we got uh, from this uh, from this operation. Let's see if we can pick up the cart also. Take it out. Uh. No, there is some in there. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, in that case, if we're going to pick up the cart, let's... Uh... No, that was not my intention. Uh... You need this one. There we go. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Let's empty it. Then we simply can drive it over... Uh... Over the point where we uh, can unload it and then we can take it to the sorghum field. So basically we do have a little bit more then. I thought we had 19,000, probably 20 or 21,000 then. I don't think there was really much in that cart. There you go. Let's pick you up. I know it can pick it up. We drove it over. Oh, come on. Turn that in. There we go. No, I have to be pretty straight on, it seems. Wait, what's going on here? Why don't you... It doesn't want to do it anymore. Okay. I'm pretty sure that we connected it when we got it uh, into here, but... Somehow it doesn't want to do it anymore. Well, fair enough. We're gonna pick up the tractor then. Now uh, we probably have to do uh, a headland here to make sure that uh, the worker doesn't uh, mess up and goes in the wrong direction. Let's see if we can do a headland. This is a little bit bigger, this field. That's for sure. Maybe a little bit to the side, something like that. That should be fine. Yeah, it's picking it up, but it leaves the, a lot of stuff on the field. It just cuts off the, the heads. Different than, uh, than barley or wheat. You can see. Yeah, it seems to pick up everything. That's good. Uh, let's see, we had 15%, so probably around maybe 25% or 30% at the end. More likely 
about 25 not even there close but not quite so we should be able to do a full uh, lap then around the field because this is 20 well 23 percent assuming that uh, the width and the height are basically the same i'm not 100 percent sure but shouldn't be too much difference in there Yeah, that's looking great. Uh, yeah, we need a little bit of a headland because we have that pond over there. If we don't do anything, I'm afraid that the the helper will get into the pond. That's Probably not the best idea. So we definitely need some room at uh, certain spots. Look at that, we have 40% now and we are halfway. No, we are, yeah, we are halfway now. I say we aren't halfway, but we are. So let's go at least uh, up to there and then see we already uh, 36 minutes in, almost 37 so I don't want to make this episode too long. Yeah, there is still some, uh, some fertilizer in the ground, that's okay I guess. I thought if it uh, really was... Uh, properly applied that the ground was uh, exhausted from fertilizer after you uh, if you used the uh, precision farming but probably after a few times not the first time I guess this was a little bit too much or something or not quite sure now let's do this manually because that's a uh, strange bend in here still haven't bought a, a house for ourselves already living a year in tents yeah this should be fine and yeah plowing is going pretty quickly to be honest I'm not uh, not disappointed in that a pleasant surprise that it's going that quickly and we are closing in on 75 percent here okay just a little bit more seventy-eight percent okay that's good now the question is will a worker understand that he needs to go up and down and then to the right. I hope so. Let's see. I'm gonna put you in. I'm gonna take you off of this. Uh, I don't know. I can't uh, put a cart behind uh, the plow. It doesn't have an attachment. So let's bring this to uh, the factory the oil uh, plant or oil mill I think it's an oil mill if I'm not mistaken and then uh, pick up some sorghum and then I think we're gonna call it an episode might do some more plowing although yeah, maybe not needed yet we can use a worker for that we're gonna be a little bit uh, low on money that's for sure well like I said we can always borrow a little bit if we need it but Let's hope that we don't need it. Not sure though about those wood chips. Do I need uh, something to put it in there? Or can I simply... There we go. 
picked the wrong button. I disconnected uh, the trailer. Or can I pick it up if I stand just behind, uh, besides it? Sometimes it worked like that, but... Uh, is it? Yeah, okay, it's empty. Let's give it a try. Can I somehow pick up here these chips? Well, it doesn't say so, so I don't think we can. No, that's uh, that's not a possibility. Unfortunately, let's uh, uh, full full grain tank. Let's go there and let's pick it up. I mean, consider that we start a year ago with nothing. We are doing a pretty good job, uh, I think. And uh, the worker did understand that he has to turn to the right over there. He's on the right spot, so that makes it uh, a little bit easier. Yeah. So let's uh, unload you. And then probably also set uh, th this one to sorghum flower. Activate. Sure, why not? Flower is flower. Although it tastes different, I'm pretty sure of that. Bread made of wheat uh, tastes different than bread made of rice, so to speak of. Completely different taste. So mixing it, I'm not sure it's a good thing to do in reality. Probably not, but... Well... I don't think that the game makes different types of flour. It's not that you get wheat flour and barley flour and all. It's just, just flour. So. And we're gonna drop this and then we're gonna call it an episode. I think I'm gonna stop uh, all the machines. Yeah, we can get through uh, here, that's not a problem. And we need to be... Uh, yeah, this one, the grain, yeah. Yeah, sorry. There we go. Done. Okay, people, I'm gonna leave it at this. Let this one turn around and then stop it for now. And we continue him with this one the next uh, time. Like I said, we can keep the, the combine because... There we go, okay. Like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And hopefully until the next time. Bye for now.